The following year, however, only 17 of us survived the horrible six days that came to be known as the Battle of Lost Withiel. In the months following that short hellish week, we went about the business of victory by burying the dead, nursing the wounded, putting out fires, rebuilding houses, and mending the damage in the neighboring farms. One day, beside the tower of St. Brevita, a crowd had gathered around a child eight or nine years of age who was deathly ill, practically blind with a fever and sobbing endlessly. This is where I came to know Sir Richard Hughes, a new knight of my order with a round belly and rich brown eyes. He was called upon to try to heal the small child. A skeptic in the crowd, who was still loyal to the Earl of Warwick, watched as Sir Richard laid hands on the young boy and whispered peaceful, calming words of prayer into his ear. The skeptic shouted out, mocking the knight for believing that his ancient whispers and primitive style of healing could have any power. In front of all the townspeople, Sir Richard answered, You are an ignorant fool. The skeptic's derision became angry. His face reddened, and his hands began to shake with humiliation and rage. Before the skeptic could gather himself to shout back or raise his fist in violence, Sir Richard spoke again. When a few words have the power to make you so angry, why would others not have the power to heal?